guys, how are you? Today I'm coming to you with something a little bit different than usually. As few of you may know, I live in Dubai. Uh, well, kind of live, because usually I'm somewhere else, I'm traveling. But whenever I'm coming back, I'm coming back to Dubai. Because I live here, I thought maybe you're interested to know some things about Dubai and how people live here. I remember when I came here for the first time, I was shocked. For me, it's such a different culture, different style of living. Uh, so I remember I was a bit shocked at the beginning and there were a few particular things that were shocking to me. So I thought maybe I should tell you what's so different about Dubai that you may not know about. That's why I've come up with 10 weird facts about living in Dubai. Let's get straight to it. Number one, here in Dubai, they deliver everything for you. I mean like everything. You can go shopping, choose whatever you like and they will deliver it to your home. You don't even have to take it with you. Um, you can call the shop and tell them that you need, I don't know, um, phone, top up cards and they will bring it to you or some water they will deliver it you can even call like pharmacy and they will bring you stuff like that's for me something completely different i remember when i went to florida for vacation for the first time to the us and i was shocked that people have like drive through pharmacies because we don't have it in poland but here it's completely different level they can bring your medication, vitamin C or wherever you need, they'll bring it straight to your door. This makes people really lazy, but I love it. Number two, if you don't have a car here in Dubai, the transportation that you will use mostly is taxi. I don't own a car, uh, so the only way I can get somewhere is to take a taxi. There is not much of like public transportation here in Dubai. There is a um, metro. The metro only goes through the main street, Sheikh Zayed Road, from the one part of the city to another. So if you live somewhere a little bit further from, from this one road, uh, basically you don't have any other transportation except the taxis. The taxis are everywhere. It's so easy to get a taxi. You just wave and they will be straight next to you but there are some buses but the buses are just few and they go um, just in few places so it's really hard to get somewhere quite cheap comparing to other countries and other cities so it's not a, such a big deal but still it's a little bit different than what I'm used to number three the best time of the year in Dubai is winter and it's purely because the weather is good enough to go outside. I mean like it's not that hot as during the summer. <laughs> so you can actually go outside and do some stuff. Winter in Dubai means like 25 degrees Celsius and summer in Dubai means like 40 degrees Celsius. So during the summer, you're not gonna see me anywhere outside. During the winter, everyone goes outside and do some sports, some activities. Everyone loves winter. Number four, you need to wear like sweaters, jackets, or any like warm clothes inside. That's the rule here in Dubai. I know usually, whatever you go, you take something to put it on when you go outside. No, in Dubai, it's completely different. Everywhere in Dubai is like the air conditioning is at like freaking 18 degrees Celsius and then you go outside and it's 30 degrees Celsius. So it's a little bit like thermal shock. <laughs> you need to be prepared for that. Mostly you don't even go outside because you just take a taxi from your home. You go straight to the taxi. The taxi drops you off, for example, at the mall. Then you go to the mall and you're outside for like maybe two minutes maximum. Number five, the traffic in Dubai is insane. Uh, I do not own a car purely because I'm afraid to drive in Dubai and I think it's not worth it. There is no time during the day when there is no traffic. 
You think around noon there will be no traffic, but believe me, there will be somewhere around the city. And bear in mind that the roads in Dubai usually have like 5-6 lanes and it's jam-packed and everyone is beeping. It's crazy. Whatever you're stuck, you can be prepared for like one and a half hour drive very, very slowly home. The worst day is New Year's. If you want to go for a party on New Year's, you need to basically leave your home around 2 p.m. to get there uh, on time before the midnight. Number six. If we are talking about roads, let's talk about pavements. You can't really find many pavements in Dubai which means you cannot really walk around Dubai. I'm a girl who loves to walk, I love to walk around the city and I'm from Europe, so I'm used to walking around the cities, like the small streets, a lot of people uh, enjoying the outside, but no, in Dubai it's not gonna work like that. If you want to go to the park or just go for a walk somewhere, First, you need to take a taxi to get you there, whatever the pavements are or like the special walk, and then you can walk around. If you leave your home, there is just street. There are usually no pavement. It's street and the sand. It's quite far away to get anywhere, except when you live in like downtown. That's really shocking to me. I, I remember I couldn't find a pavement to get to the other side of the street. But I understand it now, it's so hot outside that basically you cannot really go anywhere during the day because you're gonna burn. Number seven, you can find food here from all around the world. Dubai, they import all the stuff to the shops and all the major um, restaurants are opening or are open in Dubai. And most of the restaurants, they deliver. Number eight, if you want to shop online in Dubai, that's gonna be kind of a problem because we don't have zip codes, we don't have area numbers, we don't have any of that. So basically, you will never get your order delivered right to your home because there is no such a thing as zip codes. People in Dubai have PO boxes and that's the only way to get anything delivered to you or sent to you. I'm not really a fan of that because I love online shopping. Number 9. I told you that everywhere is AC, right? You have AC in shopping malls, in apartments, in shops, everywhere. Even in the bus stops, yep. If it's 40 degrees outside, you can hide and survive 10 minute wait for a bus. And the last thing, number 10 is that you actually can order helicopter uber ride in Dubai <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna last but for now you can order helicopter ride around the Dubai like they will pick you up from home with the uber taxi the normal car and they will take you to the um, helicopter and then the helicopter will give you like the tour around the Dubai they, they can land a helicopter in few areas in Dubai, so you can get off in different places. And I've heard it's super popular in Dubai. Like, of course, there's everything what's different is popular in Dubai. So, these are my 10 weird facts about Dubai. I hope you like it. If you have any questions about Dubai or anything really, you can just write a comment down down below or just go to my Twitter account and tweet me. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do it now and see you next week. Bye!